<clears throat> hey, turn me up. Turn me up. Where's my snare? Where's my snare? Listen, 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 listen. It is time to go in depth about UFC 5's beta that has been out for the past week or so. Ironically, we haven't had clearance to talk about it until a few people got to post it, but we'll just pretend, you know. We'll just we'll just play pretend as to why that is, you know. Leave that out in the air for you guys to decide. But uh to discuss the beta in itself, you know, in and of itself. It was a good beta. I mean, it was it was a good stress test, if that's what they were doing. I didn't have many, like, laggy matches, didn't have many glitches. There were some glitches where we would get stuck at, like, the beginning of the round. It would just keep replaying Herb Dean, breaking us or whatever. And, uh, that was really the only issue I had in terms of stress testing. No real lags or anything like that, but... I'm going to break this up into three different parts. We're going to go striking, we're going to go wrestling, and then we're going to do everything else. The the intangibles, I guess you'd call it, or I guess they are tangibles, whatever you want to call it. The extracurriculars. So, to start off with the striking, it is, there's no way you go three years. You have three years to put out a new video game. And you have the exact same strikes in the game, barring a teep kick and what was the other one that they changed? There's two new animations, all right? I think one of the leg kicks is new too, so maybe three. There's a teep kick, a check hook, and a leg kick. The check hook you can only do with one fighter, Jack or Manson. Why he is the only one that's allowed to do it, I don't know, but... The check hook wasn't in the game. There's a new teep, and that's about it. Everything else is the exact same. The button inputs are different. There's a there are new button uh, inputs for, for uppercuts and overhands, which I don't have a problem with. I kind of like it a little more because it makes it a little more complex, but I don't understand how you... The, the build for this game, for this this game coming out, was fighter uniqueness. As real as it gets, there's not a single unique strike in the game. I mean, I guess you could say the check hook is unique to Jack Hermanson. It's going to be on more fighters when it comes out, one. And two, there's no uniqueness. There's nothing unique in the game. And sure, this is just a beta and all that. Get out of here with that, bro. This beta, there's not much that's going to be changed in less than a month. It is literally less than a month. In about 20, 27, 20, 25 days, the game's going to be coming out. There's not much that's going to be changed, bro. It's going to be minor changes to footwork. Uh, some submissions are going to be added in the ground game. And some other small things with, with damage, but there's no overhaul or, or new unique striking animations besides the check hook that is gonna be added. There's no, the, the stances aren't unique either. You don't see any unique stances yet. It's probably like two or three of them. It's probably like two or three unique stances. And then outside of those two to three unique stances, you have a, a, a jab that every like a, a lot of people have. There's no uniqueness to the strikes. There's no new, unique jabs. There's no unique blocks. There's no unique footwork. There's no unique stances. There's no unique head movement. Now, there will be some unique head movement animations, obviously. But right now, there wasn't any of it. And the claim is, oh, this isn't the, the current version of the game. Well, my, why make it a closed beta if that's the case? Why make it a closed beta that nobody else can see if that's the case? That's because if y'all saw it and y'all were able to play it, you would say, okay, this is just like the other game. Why would I spend my $100 to $70 on this game when I could just save my money and keep playing for? That's exactly why they didn't want us to show it. They want to wait until you guys buy it and see it for yourselves. And by the time you do that, it's too late. You already spent your $70 to $100 on the game. So why? Why would I? Why would I allow you to see my video game that took three years that 
is basically a, a, a reskin. Minor tuning. You gave us nothing that you promised. No, no fighter uniqueness. This isn't as real as it gets. It's not. It's the same game with a reskin in terms of the stand-up. A reskin and a couple of new animations. No fighter uniqueness at all. The fighters even look the same. The fighters look the exact same as they did in 4. We only got 10 of them, sure. But they all 10 of them look the exact same way. Bobby Knuckles looks good. Robert Whitaker looks good. They look like they, they really got him down. Alex, too. Izzy, he still looks the same. Everybody else still looks the same. It's just a, re, uh, uh, a reskin. Some shading and some tuning. That's it. I do like the, the distance management now in the game, but it, it has caused people to just throw ones and twos and be able to, they, they spam the one and two, and then they're able to do that from a range of which if you were to slip a one or a two, they'd have to be moving forward the entire time. I, for instance, I can use my jab to get in the pocket, hit you with the straight while I'm in the pocket, and still be moving back afterwards. I can land the one moving in, stand still for the two, and then move out before you can counter. So I can just do that over and over until your block is gone and basically force you to get into a, a, a battle of jabs and straights because you're not landing those hooks. I'd have to be coming forward for the jab straight in order for you to do that. If I stop coming forward after the jab, you're not going to land that counter hook. So I can just one to you to death until your, your block is low enough and then I can just decide where I want to go from there. Do I want to hit your body? Do I want to break the block completely and and just come around the, the side? There's a lot that I can do after I break your block. And I think that the, the jab doing damage to the block is going to be taken away. But it's not just the jab doing damage to the block. The block needs to be reconstructed in terms of how fast it can go away. Because you shouldn't be able to just sit there and hold your block. But there are other ways to attack somebody that is just sitting there holding their block. You can go to their body. You can clinch. There's a lot of ways to attack somebody. There doesn't need to be just your block gets melted quickly like that. Like, there's other ways you can attack somebody outside of just trying to attack their head. Um, But overall, for the striking, if I had to give it a rating of, like, 1 to 10, I would give it a 7 out of 10. Um, It's not bad. In terms of a beta, it's just there's a lot of ways to exploit it. And one of those ways is the spinning elbow. They claim it's going to be fixed, but the spinning elbow, you only need five of them and a doctor stoppage is caused. You land five spinning elbows and it sounds like what? Like it's just five spinning elbows. You don't have to land them on your head. You just have to land them. If I hit the block with it, it still lands. It counts as a land and it will cut you open. I had to experience that so I know. Five of them will bust you open and cause a doctor stoppage. So, don't let don't get hit by spinning elbows. It's kind of hard with the tracking to not get hit by them, but we'll see if they fix it. We'll just see if they fix it. Um, on to the grappling. The grappling this year, I like it more than last year. I like it more than last year, and the reason for that is heavily involved in the submission system because I feel like it's a more fair submission system than last year's where you could just spam the submissions. If you had a better grappler and you had somebody who like whose stamina wasn't up to par, you could just spam them. And it's very hard for you to get out of those situations because by the time you get out of the submission, your stamina is low and you have somebody on top of you that probably has grapple advantage and they have a higher submission rating and they have a higher top control. So you have low stam. You're at every disadvantage possible. They can just find a way, one denial, even if they need a denial. They probably won't need a denial just to put you right back in another submission, and then it's over. So this year, it's a lot harder to get submissions, which I like, because submissions aren't as often as people would like to think. You have to be very skilled and, and knowledgeable to get a submission. They're very, like, heat of the moment. Like, you have to capitalize on something, a mistake that somebody makes in order to get a submission. You can't just brute force your way through them, so... Uh, I kind of like it better than last year. In terms of uh, between 4 and 5, I will give it an 8 out of 10. But in terms of overall how it should be, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because it's barely changed between this year and last year. The submissions are the only things that have changed. The transitions are the exact same. Grapple advantage is still as dominant as ever. 
there shouldn't be negative grapple advantage. I shouldn't deny your transition, and then from that point, I can transition twice as fast, and you transition half as fast as a normal transition. It takes you three times as much time after one denial to transition. Like, if, if you get denied, let's say you're in full guard, right, and you try to get up, and I deny it. It's going to take you three times as long to get up than it would take me to transition to half guard. My transition to half guard is now half as long. It would take, like, just for just for reference, not saying these are the actual numbers, but it would take you five seconds. Normal transition, uh, a get up from full guard, would take about, like, three seconds. Uh, Once you get denied, it's going to be about five, six seconds. That sounds like it's not a lot of time until you actually do it. The extra two seconds I have to now deny you again, or I don't even need to deny you because you can go for that get up again. But by the time you go for that get up as a guy who's in on top in full guard, I can just move to half guard. And now you're, you're still trying to do the get up while I'm moving the half guard. Your, your stamina is dropping. I'm now in half guard and a lot of guys have the arm triangle or because your stamina is lower, I can now build up my grapple advantage because there's not much you can do to stop that. There's a lot of issues with it. There's a lot of issues with negative grapple advantage, and I don't think it should be in the game. It slows you down on bottom, and that's not realistic. I'm not going to – you're not going to deny my first transition in real life if I try to kick you off of me, and then I'm just going to try and do it again, and it's going to be half as fast. I'm going to just take forever to – like, no. It's not how it works. If this is as real as it gets, then – Stop making my transition slower because I get denied or I have lower stamina. Or I guess lower stamina works with the... But, like, you know what I mean. Um, and dominant positions. I like the fact that the dominant positions are hard to get out of because that's what it's supposed to be. If I get you in top mount, it's not supposed to be very easy to get me out of top mount. It should be hard to get me out of top mount. Now, with that said, posturing up, you shouldn't be able to just wail on somebody postured up because in real life, you only get like two to three strikes before somebody's trying to thrust you or a uh, hit turn or something like that to get you off of them. Or they just turn over completely because they don't want you just striking them. They'll, they'll break your posture. They'll pull you back down. They'll thrust all this stuff to get you to break you back down and put you in a, a chest to chest situation. People are not just going to let you sit up and strike them from full amount. Um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 strikes. At that point, the fight is over. Uh, but I do like it that it's harder to get out of those positions. I would just like the damage that's done from... I would like the posture ups to be a little more padded. Because you shouldn't be able to just continuously posture up on somebody from that position. Um, Maybe lower the stamina. Like, they cost more stamina to throw strikes from that position. Or, or make it faster. The time that you have between, like, striking somebody and getting pulled back down. Your, your posture being broken. Lower the, the time or something like that. But make it... I'll make it better for people who are on bottom because on top of the grappling feeling like you're you're it feels like a waiting game between oh who's gonna go for a transition first and that's what grapple advantage is for if i build up my grapple advantage i can go first because then you can't really stop me but on top of gra grapple advantage being on a bottom position it's like you're really just waiting for the person on top to move so that you can counter them and get back to your feet. You don't have to, but that's the best way to get up. Um, so, I would say the grappling has a lot of potential if they can fix the, the problems with it. But it's not different from last year other than the submissions. It's the same thing. Um, and that needs to be addressed when the final game comes out. Now on to the extracurriculars. This is where we complain about everything. The clinch is the exact same. They didn't change the clinch, and I don't know why. Why is there no denial for a clinch? Where is the denial for clinch? In real life, you cannot just walk up to somebody and grab their head, and I don't have to strike you to stop you from doing that. I can just move your hand. I can just move your hand. You don't get to just walk forward and grab the back of my neck. I can just move your hand. I can lean back, which you can kind of do in the game. I can move my head all litany of ways. I can push your arm off of me. There's a lot of ways to deny somebody from grabbing the back of your head and just walking. That's not a thing in real life. You don't just get to grab the back of my neck and not and not get punished for it or get denied from it. On top of that, Muay Thai clinch is one of the hardest positions to get. Not hardest positions to get, but it's one of the 
the best positions you can get in a fight. I get to, in this game, of course, because I get to knee and elbow you, and the most you get to do is throw little pop shots to try and get me to stop. I can also take you down from that position. I can trip you. I can do all this, all this other stuff. I got some missions I can go for. Whatever, whatever. You, I don't understand why Muay Thai clinch is, is just the wave now. And the other clinch types like over under are harder to get because you have to slip strikes to get into them. Clinching shouldn't just be so easy as just walking into it. And I know you can use the jab and straight to stop somebody. But I can be in the middle of throwing a combination and get clinched up while I'm throwing a hook. Why? In real life, if you tried to reach out and grab my head while I'm going for a hook, more than likely, it's going to hit you in the back of the head or behind the ear, and you're going to go down. There's no reason that you just get to reach your arm out while I'm going for an uppercut or a hook, and you just eat that. But a straight shot is the one that's going to make you you react. It's going to push you back off of me. That's just dumb. You should have to, if you're not going to give us a denial to the clinch, you should make it so that they have to do it in a moment where they're not being punched in their fucking face. That's how, that's how it should work. It shouldn't just be a straight shot stops you. It should be any shot that they eat to their face while trying to clinch you up stops them. On top of that, the submission system now is a lot better. It's a lot less cheesy, even though there was this little glitch that I encountered, but I'm not worried about that. I think it'll be patched. Um... But there, there are some, some things I would like to see done about the submissions. Uh, the I would like certain transitions to be faster, and I know some of them are, but certain positions, like armbar, is one of the cheesiest positions you can get. Uh, you can do a lot of head damage there, uh, while also being able to deny both of the transitions out. You get grapple advantage while you're there, and both the transitions out take a long time anyway, so it's really hard to get out of the armbar position. Um... The strikes, I've already gone over. The wrestling, I've already gone over. The clinch. Uh, footwork, you're you're still gliding all over the place. It's not any different from any other game. The footwork, I don't really understand how they have a problem with that, bro. Like, why, why is it that you can't look at a game like Undisputed? And I know that Undisputed has its own problems. But why is it that you can't look at a game like that? Their footwork isn't a problem. I don't understand why you can't look at a game like that and say, this is how that works. Let's take that. And move it over here and let's just do that let's just have our footwork work this way because then it's more realistic but no let's just have people gliding across the cage and shifting and all that it's very dumb uh head movement is is work it, it's better now bobble heading around is just going to get you hurt because you're going to get hit in your body or something like that uh you also might eat an elbow which is going to do a lot more damage if you're moving your head around uh yeah, overall, it's it's really a, it's an update, man. It, I can't, I don't understand how people are defending this game being a three-year, pro, in the progress of three years, you made a game that is slightly different. Look at the jump from two to three, and then look at the jump from four to five. Because three and four were, were pretty much the same game. The only thing that changed is like the, the clinch system and submission system. But look at the jump between 4 to 5 and 2 to 3. 2 to 3 was a completely different game. 4 to 5 is the exact same game with a, a, some new, like, animations slightly and a new submission system. The same thing they did for 3 to 4. Just looks a, a little slightly different. Just change the submission system and add in some new animations. Some, some new falling animations and reaction animations. That's really it. It's becoming their thing now to do that and then pretend like it's a new game. You give it a slogan. As real as it gets, it's not, man. It's it's UFC 4.5, and of course I'm going to buy it. Uh, people are like, oh, why are you going to... Just don't buy the game, then I'm going to buy it. I'm a content creator. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create content on the game. I like MMA, and it's the only MMA game out. But that doesn't mean I don't need to be critical of it. And, and critique the things that are wrong simply because I'm going to buy it. I'm a consumer of the product, and I want to see the product do good. And I feel like the people that are out there defending it are doing so because they want to get into the good graces of some people sitting in a pretty high spot. I can tell you now, all that meat licking is not going to get you anywhere, buddy. It's not. You think you're going to get high in that professional world because you're telling them what they want to hear. 
They will go right past you, man. They will go right past you. They're not worried. EA devs are not worried about Billy Joe Bob over here licking the seat of which they sit in, bro. They're not worried about it. They could care less. They'll go right over you. They care about who the biggest names are. That's what they care about. And who's going to pull in the most views. You're just a pawn sitting here just, oh, this is such a brilliant game. All it takes is a little minor tuning. That shit's not going to get you anywhere, buddy. It's not. Lying like that is not going to get you anywhere. This game is no different from the last one, barring a few new animations and a new submission system. It's the exact same game. It's an update. Treat it as such. DLC, might, if you will. That's all it is, bro. And I hope that eventually us as a community are able to come together and tell these developers that we're not going to stand for this three years in development in a, a trash game not trash but a, a completely a, a rescanned game a remastered game we're not going to stand for it of course that's never going to happen they're going to continue having these shills tell them that they're doing everything correctly and they're going to continue having their game bought but i can you can only really hope and you can only hope that it is different eventually and that we are all able to say okay this is not the game that we wanted let's make sure they hear it and make sure that this is a standard that we're not going to keep falling to because there's nobody that's going to interfere in the mma gameplay world they're not going to put out an mma game that rivals it. undisputed uh ea or ea undisputed the modded version i guess the the modders are doing a good job over there you know they're doing a, a good job but it's not going to be as big as a game that's coming from ea Nobody's going to take over this market. EA has a license. There, there's never going to be a game that takes over the market. This is it for the next damn near 10 years. So hopefully we can finally come together one day and say we're not going to stand for this. But I don't see it happening. So as of now, what I'm giving the beta rating, even though I gave the striking a good rating and I gave the grappling a good rating, I'm going to give the beta a 5.5 out of 10 simply because... This game promised and did not deliver what it promised on. It was a good beta, but the promises that were made were not met. Therefore, 5 out of 10. That's my honest rating. Um, I do expect it to get a little better. It might be 6, 7 out of 10 when the full final product drops. But as of now, 5 out of 10. I'm your boy DJ, man. Peace.